because the Advec FAQ has just been dropped this second, right? Thank you very much to Tonksy in chat. Much, you know, you. Uh, thank you, Tonksy in chat, for letting us know. Let's talk about the Advec FAQ now, which is hot content. You have not watched a video about this yet because it is out now, right? It has just been released today. Look at that. We are hot off the press. There's a couple of things that I can see initially. Only one page. Uh, it's only one page. Well, actually, three now, giving a quick, uh, like, overview. Things that are very yeah. problematic in the Codex, which have been addressed. Booster Thrust. A unit cannot be selected for this strategy. It was set up on the battlefield this turn. So what people were doing were basically having a unit come down. Was it the Taraxi? Yes. Yeah, so yeah the, the flame would work. Yeah, the Taraxi would come down, do the 30-inch flamer that Jay mentioned, which was just mm. crazy, and then would use a stratagem to be set up in strategic reserve, and then Deep Strike... Do it again, set up your strategic reserves. No. So you have an untouchable unit that comes down every turn and disappears every turn at the same time. Yeah. So that is you now being addressed. You can't with them and they ruin you. It, yes. It's a lot, right? It is, it is. That's good. I, I, I fully expected that to be the case because there's actually a rule that's very similar to this in the uh, in the main rule book, basically, uh, of things like not being put on the table and then leaving the table in the mm -hmm. same turn they were deployed. Uh, but I think that only applied to planes or something stupid like that. Yeah. Um, yeah the, exactly. the next one is the other part of what we just talked the about. The other part though, of the issue, yeah. Is the tech Priest Manipulus Abilities Galvanic Field change the first sentence to, in your command face, let one friendly forge or core unit within nine inches of this model that has not already been selected for this ability this turn. Which yeah. also is another thing that they've always had. It was it was admittedly just with auras before. So we couldn't benefit from the same aura more than once. It was kind of implied that it shouldn't benefit from the same ability, but we didn't have specific auras back yeah. then. The rules changed the, the tone a little bit. So yeah, exactly. Not a shock there either. So they've basically relimited it now. So you can't buff up the same unit like three times a turn, which is great. So what it does, what this ability does, Galvanic Field, is increases the range by six inches of arc and radiant weapons and increases the AP. So you could stack that to get plus 18 inch range and plus minus three AP, which yeah. is great, which is really good. So yeah, it, it is. It's a massive investment because obviously you're buying three manipulus for your force, which is 250, but it's not like Vanguard and Rangers needed too much of a buff. Yeah, because you think about it on a, you know, well, what's been doing well is units of Rangers because of that. Uh, Galvanic Rifle, heavy two, strength four, minus one and one damage at three inch range. They make it what 48 inch range heavy to minus four and one damage <laughs> uh just on the galvanic so radiant carbine assault three strength three zero ap and one damage at 18 inch you make that 36 inch range minus three one damage an unmodified hit roll of a six automatically wounds at ap3 but now yeah. it's max ap1 which is much better that is like a perfect change because now you buff a unit to ap1 Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's pretty nasty, but hey, it's not AP3. It, it is still good. It it's is good. still good. Like, I mean, AP1 is, is way better than AP0. Oh, for 17 sure. 17% better than AP0. Well, yeah, at 100%. But mm -hmm. AP3, <laughs> with the rules that they're getting at the weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just yeah. mad. <laughs> just mad. So, Cataphon Breaches and Cataphon, Cataphon Destroyers have lost the Heavy Battle Servitor ability. Move and fire as normal. Yeah. Well, they're not infantry. Yeah. So I don't think they need them anyway. They didn't. Not in ninth, but they did in eighth. Yeah, so they've obviously copied it. So heavy battle servitor, they do not suffer the penalty to hit rolls, but they don't have the infantry keyword, so they don't suffer from it anyway. Huh. So exactly. it's a completely useless ability. So fair enough. It is. It was obviously something where they'd moved all the data sheets over mm -hmm. and it was an oversight that they'd left it in. Yeah. And it wasn't really a problem that they'd left it in. Let's be honest. No, it, it, it did nothing. It added nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. It took up page space. That was it, right? Right. But people lost their shit over that. <laughs> uh, the other one with the Scorpius Doom Rider transport. This model mm. has a transport capacity of 12 Forge World infantry infantry models. Infantry infantry models. Right. Because, because there's a good picture. Because it just says centurion. infantry. It just says any infantry. So you could put 12 centurions yeah. into a Scorpius Doom Rider and yeet across the board. <laughs> why not right and then obviously the archaeopter the same with the archaeopter yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah just six infantry or four drilled infantry models what <laughs> yeah i don't know so i i don't know about that one either i think like maybe someone was right in the room <laughs> it just got sidetracked slightly on that right so <laughs>
which is that the Wrath of Mars stratagem specifies a maximum of six mortal wounds. Does this maximum apply each time a model makes an attack or to the stratagem in its entirety? And the answer is quite, of course, really. It applies to stratagem in its entirety. That means that each time a stratagem is used, no more than six mortal wounds can be caused as a result of it, which I'd have thought was kind of obvious, but obviously it's a frequently asked question, which means enough people wanted to at least clarify it that they asked the question. Yeah, because I think they wrote it in a way where it was like, when shooting with a model, you can do a maximum of six more wounds. So it was a slightly unclear, I would say. Using the shooting phase when a Mars unit is selected to shoot, until the end of the phase, each time a model in that unit makes an attack, an unmodified wound roll of a six inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to any normal damage to a maximum of six mortal wounds. So it's like each time a model shoots, it does mortal wounds to a uh, okay. six mortal wounds, which kind of makes it like, I think the intention was clear, but the wording wasn't. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably right. And people looking at like cast island robots with like 18 shots each being like, yeah, well, it's six per model. <laughs> but like six per model is like more than average. So they're not, they wouldn't be limited it at all, really. Dunecrawler has data tether keyword, which I presume links to a stratagem. Ah, here we go. Multitasking, multitasking cortex. In your command phase, select one friendly Skitari core unit. Or select one friendly core data tether unit on the battlefield. It can perform an action without failing. Uh, it could make ranged attacks without failing the action. Oh, pretty much all That's of these it. are core data tethers. So these are basically all of the Skitari Warlord traits. We're calling Skitari core units and core data tether units. So, um, wait, hang on. Doom it works Grove. on core units and it works on core units that have a data tether, but that's still just a core unit. What? I don't. Skitari I core is a. Oh, right. Okay. So you're at a Skitari core or yeah. any core unit that has a data tether. But a Doom right. Crawler doesn't have core. It does have a data tether now. It does have a data tether which now. Which means that now that is, is allowable. But it says core data tether. Core data tether. Oh. Core data tether. Core data tether. So unless there's something else that references data tether, but not core. Because the Doom Crawler has Imperium, Adeptus Mechanicus, Skitari, Forge World, Vehicle, and another Doom Crawler. No core. So th there's one at the start which I I don't know much about. It's on page 53, Verse of Vengeance. It says, change the start of the second sentence to until the start of your next command phase, each time a model in that unit is destroyed by an attack made by an enemy model. I'm assuming the clarification was the enemy model part. Okay, so in your command phase, select one friendly equipment a core unit within six inches of the Warlord. I think I know the issue already. The second sentence starts, each time model in that unit is destroyed by an attack made by an enemy model, roll 1d6 on a 4+. plus. Here, it doesn't uh, it say... No, no end. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. say when it ends. It just says each time a model. So technically, you choose yeah. a friendly unit within six unit inches, every, uh, and then they'd have that for the rest of the game. Then you choose another one, and then they'd have it for the rest of the game as well. Where now it's until the end of the command phase, which is right. So Cladenstein's been limited to two. Uh, but overall, a good FAQ. I don't think... I think this fixes a lot of the very, very obvious issues, but Skitari still have on. a... What? Well, I'm looking through the FAQs now. Right? Mm -hmm. The last codex that got released was uh -huh. Admech, not Sisters, right? I'm not getting no, that wrong. No, you're not making that up. We're still waiting for a Warzone okay. Caradon, book one. We're still waiting yeah. for... Drakari have had an update. The second of the sixth. Yeah. Well, they've had sit, but then no sisters FAQ. No. Well, they've obviously seen how well Admech did this weekend when they won like three tournaments. That, that must have been it, right? That they've never gone. You know what? To be we need to fix this they, now. They looked at the stats, and a load of people were emailing in, or a lot of TOs were like talking about it in in Facebook groups or something. That, that Summit Games which saw and was like, "Oh shit! Oh bugger!" <laughs> What have it's we happened done? happened in. That thing we knew we accidentally saw coming. Oh my god, it's actually happening where everyone's winning with Admech. No one would really let you do booster thrust in the same turn as your deep strikes. No yeah. sane person, I, but... How many tournaments do you think someone went up to and said, right, so I've got 12 Centurions and I've got a Dune Crawler? No. <laughs> yeah? No. Nobody no was going to get away with that ever. No, exactly. Um, I mean, it was hack anyway, because without the doctorates and stuff, you should... Well, yeah, this is true. Yeah, it's just funny Still. more than out. But as I said, Jay, FAQ to fix a mistake, they kept in bath heavy battle servitor when they didn't need it. Told you. Yeah.
Most codexes That's... have a mistake. They have a typo somewhere. Yes. Sisters yeah. of Battle, 240 points per model. It's a typo, you know? Did I not say earlier on that <laughs> I wasn't talking about Arata? No, I said I was talking about Arata. Yeah, you're right. It happens. Yeah. Definitely, definitely happens. I'm happy with, like... I've seen it in, in a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with, like, changing the manipulus thing to being, like, you can't choose the same unit every three times a turn. Yeah. But, like, yeah. just straight-up mistakes are so present, which is really bad for a 30 quid book for a multi-million pound company. It definitely is. Yeah. It definitely is. Like, like just to get an email sent out to the customers that we were, um, like, dealing with, uh, there's an en masse, like, blanket email mm. took approval from the copy team, which was two people. Um, before it got to there, it had approval from your line manager. Mm -hmm. And if it was to something that affected more than, say, 500 customers, it got to get approval from the director uh, of communication. Yeah. So you're going through your boss, a separate team dedicated to that, and their boss mm -hmm. to make sure it's right. Yeah. How is this any different? Yeah. And people mm -hmm. are paying for this as well. So it's maybe they are doing it on purpose. Sus. Sussy backers in the chat. <laughs> I did say earlier on that they are one of the only companies that I, I know of that can get away with it. It's like, well, we said this, oh, yeah, but there's an FAQ coming, so, you know. Yeah. Why does that make it okay? FAQ for me problem? should only exist when it's the, the FAQ where it's like, uh, so it wasn't quite clear enough and we've had a few people answer, uh, or whether it's an errata that they've released after the fact this is what I said was okay with Arata, mm -hmm. where they've gone, you know what, this army actually needs a buff, and so we're going to change this weapon to do this instead. Yeah. yeah. Totally fine. But yeah, the exactly. normal stuff, day one, shouldn't require a zero-day patch, you know? Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree.